Hey there, Beard Tube. Good to see you again. I'm Sean, aka that Nerd Kid Ugly. Today, I'm outside in the fresh air on this beautiful day, and I'm drinking a beer that I've been looking forward to since the first time I saw it online. This is Brew Dogs Bushwood Beer Crisp Pilsner, uh, inspired by Caddyshack, the classic. Um, this was canned on, oh, that sun is getting right in there. March 23rd, so it is a couple months old. Um, comes in at 5% alcohol. Some can art on it. Um, no IBUs that I saw. This was brewed in their Columbus, Ohio brewery. Um, this is the second that I've had from... At least I think it's the second they've done anyways. They did a Christmas vacation one in the Christmas time. Uh, which those are, you know, it was good. It was a good, um, that's uh, how lumber it was. I can't even remember what style it was now. It was more like a, a Christmas ale. I wish I could remember, but I can't for the life of me. I should have looked it up. So it's got the famous gopher on it. Let's get into her. So I'm not sure if it's a, series that they're going to be doing or what but i love the fact that they're doing like the you know classic 80 80s movies inspired beers chevy you know more chevy chase branded oh is it going to come over oh no perfect and it's definitely got that clear straw golden pilsner look going on to it super clean looking a little bit of chill haze going on. Got about a three and a half pure foam white, beautiful head. Um, stone's kind of glistening in, right? But just look at that beautiful head. It's a beautiful looking beer. Uh, Brew Dog is becoming, you know, pretty much known for to me now um, as a gimmick gimmick brewery. They did. Uh, was it Hellcat or the one that they did for Iron Maiden? They did the Christmas one. I believe they did a Lord of the Rings one that I missed out on. There's this one. So, oh yeah, that crisp, sweet, malty, a little bit of earthy floral hops. Just wonderful smell. It's beautiful good beer. Smells wonderful. I'm imagining it's going to taste wonderful too. Let's find out. Goes down super easy. Then we get that crisp to it. A little more hop going on. Hop presence. Slightly bitter. Big gulps on this one. Yeah, it's definitely got that more floral, earthy notes going on. That bitter, I'm not sure if it's more from the halt and malts or the hops, but it's definitely got a bitter going on to it. This is good. It's it's quenching that thirst that you have after you've been out all day golfing, you've been out mowing, doing yard work, hiking. And you want something that's gonna hit the back of your palate. And it's, you feel like you could just gulp it down. This is it. This is what I'm I'm gonna be reaching for. Yeah, then we got that more multi body kind of going on. A little bit of like biscuitness. We definitely get that floral hoppy. Um, it reminds me of like a macro if it had flavor to it other than like cardboard. I think Brewdog did, you know, did go to this. I'm, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Here. I think a, a 3.8 out of 5. Not quite a 4. It's up there. I do like the can art. I do like that it's Caddyshack inspired. Yeah. Decent one from Brewdog. 
they already knew what they're doing by now. Uh, I, I hope to see more of these you know, movie-inspired brews that they're doing. Um, until next time, cheers.